Hello, my soccer inverts. A little stats cast with a uh, commentary. I just want to go through, you know, we had two round, um, rounds played. I want to go through winners and losers and then very quickly comment a little bit on the expected standings um, to see where all the groups stand. And then you, I'll leave you with all the numbers for you to digest uh, yourself. Uh, as for the big winners and losers, it's all Russia boom up and Croatia down because of the one draw. Uh, that Croatia had against Slovakia, which actually puts uh, Russia in the f on the front seat, driving seat, because Russia now can afford a draw against Croatia, and that is all uh, that. And same thing goes for Sweden and Spain. Um, Sweden having now a slight, slight advantage uh, over Spain, uh, having taken the lead in the group, uh, their level on points. So in that case, Sweden actually can afford uh, at, at the moment a draw and Spain also having a very uh, not nice game in Greece, which also needs to be on. Uh, remember, Greece actually took a point from Spain. Um, other than that, Switzerland, uh, Serbia, Poland, the Netherlands, uh, Scotland, Germany, Bosnia and France round out the winners. Among the losers, it's also in interesting that Italy is right up there because Switzerland won both their games. So that uh, actually helped. And uh, similar, Port Portugal had only one game played, Serbia two. So that actually hurt Portugal's chances a teeny little bit. But I'm not, as we will see, not too worried about poor, poor Portugal. Uh, the Czechs only a draw against uh, Wales in a head-to-head. -head. That really hurt their chances because they will not be seated in the um, uh, playoff spots. Most likely, and yeah, uh, Finland, despite have, have, having win, you should have uh, gotten a result against Ukraine. Uh, Slovakia also kind of exited despite getting a draw against um, Croatia. Uh, and similar Hungary with losing at home to Albania. So quickly running through the groups and you will see all the graphs late, later in Group A. It is all poor Portugal, still very much the favorite, but Serbia just a little bit behind and there will be a head to head on the last match day. Spain, Sweden, similar. Head to head on the last match day. Interestingly enough, uh, Sweden being able to afford a draw is actually slightly more likely to qualify for the World Cup at this moment, which is a little bit staggering, I have to say. Italy, Switzerland also, it all points to the uh, big match on match day nine between Italy and Switzerland. If anyone who wins there will go to the World Cup because uh, yeah, the, the draw is then a little bit more if I said it in the main video. Uh, France cruising through, Belgium also cruising through, although being a little bit hurt because Wales picked up results, but Wales will finish second and even the Czechs will make it to the playoffs as we'll see in a bit. Denmark is already qualified and now for the first time Scotland has a higher chance of being qualified than Austria. Austria is just a disgrace at this moment. Um, the Dutch seemingly comfortable yes also there's on the last match the netherlands against norway that will be a big one turkey having a teeny bit of a chance but uh it seems to be pointing the dutch way russia croatia we already talked about it big duel there the others are already out england will go through uh it's just a matter of statistics and poland will most most likely end up in second place those two seem to be the uh, you know england poland the rest I think this is how I see this, 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 this group and yeah, Albania, Hungary, roughly equal and then Andorra and San Marino uh, and Germany are already through and for second spot to Romania, North Macedonia, which means that at the moment, the teams that should be in the play of the seeded teams, Croatia, Serbia, Switzerland, Sweden, Scotland, Poland would be seeded. Wales, Norway, Romania, Ukraine, not, but you know, this can always change a little bit. And then Austria and the Czech Republic would make up the remaining two spots in the playoff as unseeded teams. And yeah, with that, I will leave you now with all the stats and standings uh, to your, hopefully, uh, to your enjoyment. Let's put it that way.
Just in case you enjoyed this video, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider following me on social media and actually subscribe to my channel so that you stay updated with everything that happens in my software universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.